What's that good word, gang? Matt here, country song teacher, acoustic selection, Matt McCoy, one man, three channels. Right now, if you like the fact that I have three channels, smash the like button. One of the questions I get asked most often, besides what's the strumming pattern, is Matt, what's a great song to start out with? So in this lesson, I'm gonna first go over for a complete beginner, what would be a good one for them to learn. And then I'll show if you're a little past a beginner, how you can spice it up a little bit. Hadn't had a good time since you know me. Got talked into going out to stay. I was feeling like myself for the first time. Out, cut that last part out. I had to cough. All right, guys. So fun little song to play. It's going to use my four chords. I got this capo on the first fret. That just raises it up half a step. If you don't have that, it's no big deal. Like I said, play it without the capo either way. Um, but one of the things I'm kind of known for is the Matt McCoy first four chords. That's where I lock in the two bottom strings. And when I learned this, it was a game changer for me. So once I got this down, it helped me just catapult my playing to the next level. And got me a few followers, so. There, lock on the two bottom strings of the third fret. So let's go start with the chorus and go fourth and fifth. So fourth string and fifth string. Let's jump to the bottom five. We're gonna do a two count. Then you rolled, then go up to just both of them up a string to a G chord, fifth and sixth. Then with your so. Then you rolled again with your hair in the wind, baby. So the next chord will be your most challenging chord of this set, the E minor. I use my first finger and press right in between the fifth and fourth. Let's drum all six. If you need to use your first and second finger and do it this way, either way. So you can do one finger with two strings or the two fingers two strings. So it's C, G, E minor. Then your final chord's a D chord. You press that third string. So if I'm a beginner, I'm gonna do a two count with each of those. Then you rolled in with your hair in the wind, baby. Found one in the it. I was doing all right, but just you sat at my heart storming. The moon high and the stars were shining. Rain was reviving, thunder landing. This last little part. You left my whole world when you wrecked my whole world when you. In the, instead of the E minor, go straight to the D. Came, hit me like a. Then you go to the verses. So on the verses, you're gonna do that same two count, but instead the order is gonna be an E minor to a C to a G to a D. Hadn't had a good time since you know me. Let me say this too. If you're a beginner. I would focus on two things. Looking back now that I've played for a while, I would focus on try to get the chords sounding as clear as possible. Your fingers probably hurt. If you got a cheaper guitar, it might not sound that clear. Hang in there. Try to get them to sound as clear as possible. The first thing. The second thing, keep that steady rhythm. So down. So songs like this are great because as much of the guesswork or having to look at an iPad, a screen, a phone, as you can eliminate, the better. 
So just memorize for the chorus, it's C, G, E minor, D. So two count over and over. You just need to learn that over and over. Just work on it. Then you hold it, there in the wind, baby, without holding. Right there. For the, chord, for the verses, memorize that it's E minor, C, G, D. Also, if you've got these four chords down, this, this song is in my four chord songbook. A ton of y'all bought that already, thousands, so awesome if you bought already. Uh, it's eight bucks now on my website, countrysongteacher.com. Uh, all one word, countrysongteacher.com. Uh, the four chord songbook has 40 songs that just use these chords. There are no other chords in the song. So if you want to learn 40 campfire songs, there's a little plug for Christmas of just doing those chords. That's what that, that songbook is about. Because, and then once I said I'm going to have to use a little more advanced, let's say, man, I can smoke those chords. That's easy. I can play all those. Work on doing things like, so right there, I hammer on. But what I do, I play the chord without that first finger. And I hammer on, and I'm at mute. So. so see right there, I need a hammer on, mute, strum. Hammer on, mute, strum. got that down. You're like, man, this is too easy for me. Pick it up, big guy. Then maybe work on just finger picking. Then you roll in with your hair. We maybe with the morning. I was doing all right, but just your side. My heart's storming. So what I'm doing there, say for example on that C chord, I'm pinching it. No pick. Pinch the fifth string in the second. So pinch, then go down to the fourth with your thumb. And then pluck the bottom two. So pinch down, pluck, pinch down, pluck, pinch down, pluck. Then you roll in with your hair, wind baby with the warning. I was doing all right, but just your side and my heart storming. And so forth. So there's all kinds of things, even if you know a song already, you can really practice your guitar, add a little. That sound like. I thought it was fast car for a second. A lot of people requested that I learned that one. I'll teach that one. I need to learn it. I got a fast car. Luke did that one. So a fun little jam. Y'all know I can't play enough Luke Combs songs. Uh, he's been awesome uh, to help me out um, on my YouTube channel because all his songs are just awesome. So guys, ch check out all three website, all three of my sites: Acoustic Selection, Country Song Teacher. I taught George Strait. At first, she's gonna come on strong. Like she love you all night long, like it's going out of style. Then she'll leave you with a smile. You want to learn that one? Right here. That's on my personal channel, Matt McCoy. So go subscribe to that one if you haven't already. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at just countrysongteacher.com. At country, I'm not .com, just at countrysongteacher. Too much advertising on stuff. So thank you guys for the support. Getting all that Christmas shopping done wherever you're watching this. We'll keep rocking and rolling. I love you most importantly. God loves you. Holla.